Hello! How the fudge you doing? Hey guys, Dfield here bringing you another Factions Let's Play episode. Guys, we're gonna take it back a notch for today's episode. It's gonna be a medium length episode, hopefully. But, um, today is not gonna be too big of an episode. I really just wanted to get some, uh faction work done as in i need to organize my chest guys so um it's gonna be story time with d field slash organizing chests in the background and uh if you guys do know i like to keep all of my stuff organized as you guys can see here as an example this is one of my brewing chests and as you guys can see i try to keep stuff as organized as possible I'm gonna steal Insanity's Bedrock and I'm gonna put it in my Ender Chest. Don't tell him that I stole that. But I've got 46 so far. But yeah, so today's episode, I'm basically just gonna be talking while organizing my uh, my various chests that I have here. And um, this is basically just to keep my faction a little bit more organized, like whenever we're looking for something. As you guys can see here, these are like my. What the heck? Who's calling me on Skype right now? Do not disturb. All right. So basically, I'm just fixing up the stuff that I have here, and uh, I like to try to keep things organized as much as possible because if I don't, if like if I start to get fully disorganized and my faction members start to get fully disorganized, and then everything just starts to not work out properly. So I'm gonna try to organize a little bit right now. Um, I'm I'm gonna even take the time to organize uh, some of these uh, raiding chests that we have here. And uh, we'll be prepared. We'll be basically be prepared to do whatever we need to do for any future episodes. Like, there's no, there's no hassle. There's no hassle trying to find out a specific block. If like, if we're if we're missing any blocks, we gotta figure out where we stored them or anything of that sort. So it's just a lot easier if your faction is really organized. So if you guys are in a large faction, I highly, highly, highly recommend. Just taking some time out of your day and just fully organizing everything to the best of your ability. As you can see here, I mean, we have, I try to keep everything as organized as possible. So whenever I am looking for something, it's not, it doesn't take me too long to find. And um, I try to keep all the chests at least um, organized to, to an extent. So I have my smite stick here. Somebody gave that smite stick to me. I really like it. I just haven't had a chance to use it in combat yet because whenever whenever I get placed into combat, it's like on short notice, on such short notice, and Sandy will just be like, I need help, Mark. Just come PvP with me. So uh, yeah, this is gonna be an organizing episode. It might be a little bit slow for some of you viewers, not not what you guys always want to watch, but of course, you know, this is this is part of factions. Like you guys you guys need to realize that if you don't have an organized faction, if you guys have just like this is what I'm talking about. See how we have like I have everything just kind of laying out everywhere. This kind of messes up the vibe of uh, having like a nice complete full faction and just the fact that you have to organize stuff like it, it makes it really really hard to get stuff done if you don't know where things are. So we're going to start off by let me do slash workbench. I'm gonna make some more chests, and then uh, I'm gonna try to. I'm gonna extend this area up here. These chests are actually are not fully protected properly, so I might I might end up fixing these later. So that's not too too much of a valuable chest. So that's not too bad. I'm gonna grab all the enchanting bottles at first, and um, put them all in one chest. So we. Those are very very quick to grab whenever we look for them and sanity has been sta saving up on these stack potions as you guys can see here You get those by if you have a full inventory If you have a full inventory when you're redeeming your kits, they basically just stack on top of each other like that and uh, Makes it so that <clears throat> you can bring multiple stacks of potions into battle with you. So uh, Once again, I'm probably gonna put like some cheesy uh, look at this sword why does it have so many enchants? I think that's a, that, I think this is a donation sword, like a sword of the gods or something, because that has a lot of enchants on it. But uh, hopefully, I'm gonna, I'm probably gonna be putting some like weird background music in the back of all this uh, talking, just be, just to entertain you guys a little bit. But uh, for the most part, as you guys can see, I am, I am organized to an extent. I just have to like all these tools are organized. I just have to, I have to organize my raiding chests, like where, where all the stuff that I get from kits, all the stuff that I get from raiding like up here like all these are just unorganized and it just looks unprofessional like it doesn't look good in my eyes when i'm recording and then all of a sudden i have a bunch of random items in a chest that aren't, isn't organized it just looks so weird to me so i need to organize stuff once in a while and i decided you know today's a day like it's a wednesday today i'm recording this on a wednesday and i had some spare time and i was like you know what mark let's let's organize your massive chests of 
of unfixable stuffs. So here's my stack potions. Where should I put this? I'm gonna put the stack potions. Um, I actually want to put it in like this chest. So so see see here, the obsidian is in this chest, and then all of a sudden it switches over, which is a really bad idea. So I want to I want to try to get all the obsidian pieces over to one chest only. Just so it's a little bit more organized. There's a random bedrock sword here, so let's grab that. Let's grab these bows. So this will be like another obsidian chest here. So you guys have been selling these obsidian like crazy. My faction has been mining from the uh, from the obsidian generator that I made a couple episodes back. Like we're just basically we have all the obsidian we could ever need. These are all tools right here, so I could bring all these tools into a. Uh, into the tools chest down below and keep it very organized over there uh, Let's see what else I can grab Here's some more enchanting bottles. Let's put the enchanting bottles up here um, Let's organize these tools So all these axes I'll put all the axes in there Put all the shovels in there Put all these like I have so many good pickaxes like if I ever need to go actually uh, mining for anything like if I ever go caving that's all I need to do just freaking pick a pickaxe and a majority of them are like efficiency 4 efficiency 5 and it just makes everything just makes life a lot easier you know so it looks as if this this is like my potions chest so I'm gonna move my invis pots to this side just so just so at least there's some sort of uh, recognizable feature of that organization so there's my obsidian chest so it looks like this is all armor. So let's grab all the armor out of here. And then I'm going to put in all the good swords in here. So let's see. These are all these should, all should be sharp 5. So I've told insanity that whenever we're going to be raiding, we're not we're going to try to throw away all of the unneeded swords. So like all the swords that are like sharp 3, sharp 2, we're just going to start throwing them away now. Like we don't have we just simply don't have enough storage room and it just looks really really messy in our faction base when we have like chests and chests of like unenchanted or low enchantments it just makes it look bad so i'm gonna put all those there let's start to put the bows on the bottom here so let's do that that's my obsidian chest i have a ton of bows over here again so I, the bows might actually need their own chest let's just do that um let's put all the bows in here on this top chest that's perfect. Let me grab these uh, swords. I can grab these swords and put them in that other one. Ooh, that's a coal sword. I can throw that away. <clears throat> As you guys can see, something passed through our checkpoint there and a uh, coal sword got through. So I'm going to grab these bows and put them over into this bow's chest. So this is going to be our bow's chest. Is this, a power, this is a power four bow, so I'm, I'm going to throw that away. I'm going to throw that away. Put that into the pile. Let me grab these tools. So grab these tools and then I can put this into... Uh, my stack potion chest, which is where? Where's my stack potions chest? Where'd I put it? Am I going blind? Oh, here it is. So there's stack potions. I'm gonna put these ones down here. All right, so let's jump back down. Throw away those three, and then I can organize these tools again. <clears throat> so once again guys the only reason why I'm doing this on camera is because you guys need to realize that organization is key so I mean it does it does kind of suck when you get raided and you've spent so much time just organizing all this stuff but like just how easily your faction runs especially even if you have a small faction if you have a decently sized faction maybe like five members or so the more organized you guys are the most the more successful you guys are gonna be just for the fact that if you guys are ever gonna get raided if, if somebody's raiding you you guys will know like say say somebody's trying to spawn kill you if you can somehow get into um, a place where you can you know exactly where your stuff is hidden like where your where a prop four set will be like where your swords will be if you can f figure out a way exactly where those are before like before you even get spawn killed like it, it it just gives you that that advantage over the over the people who are raiding you so like you guys should take this time like honestly you guys should take the time to organize your chest like i'm doing right here i still have my fix all for today so i might fix up that random armor that i saw there that was degraded so i'm gonna have two sharp five sword chests here let's see what else we can do let's see let me grab these sharp are these all sharp five? Oh, that was sharp three i think that's sharp three. I can throw that away. Sharp five, sharp five. 
<clears throat> a lot of my members, like even Insanity, that's another sharp three. I can throw those away. Throw those away. And I can throw that away. Let's see what this is. I can throw that away. And that's protection three. I, I don't really want to keep low, low protections. If it's not prop four, I'm probably most likely gonna throw it away just because i mean i could i could keep this stuff you know what i'm gonna make a chest for like a giveaway chest for one of my live streams a lot of people always ask for giveaways during the live streams and you know what sure why not i'll i'll, I'll do that for you guys i'll start making a, a collection chest here of stuff that i'll give away during live streams in a little bit so let's put these on all in here Let's see the chanting bottle should be up here perfect so as you guys can see like i'm already sort of memorizing where stuff is so like if i if i if i see it, something that i need to organize i already know immediately which chest to go to that's just the plain example right there of exactly why you guys should be uh taking the time to organize some of your chests because it's just so useful when it comes to uh even large factions just to try to keep everybody um everybody on the same page trying to keep everybody organized it just helps a lot. So these are prop four, so I can keep those. Then I have another stack of diamonds. We can put those in that chest. My my chest. I just love having everything all organized. It's just, everything just works so smoothly. All right, so I'm gonna have this chest up here. This top chest up here is gonna be the armor chest. So I'm gonna organize this so that it actually looks grabbable. Oh, well, that's prop three, so I can throw that. Prop four, prop four, prop four, prop four, unbreaking two. So let me take this. I'm gonna start organizing this out. I re I need to I need to some I need to enchant more unbreaking books. That's so that's the one thing that I noticed. I I was like looking through my vault yesterday, about like about how many sets I have left after that big factions war that we just recorded. I just realized like a, a lot of my. I would do so much better if all of my armor had like unbreaking three enchantments so if you guys are selling unbreaking three books on factions green let me know because i will i will pick those up like as like asap from you guys because like unbreaking along with prop four is probably one of the like if you guys are gonna get, get into one of those big faction wars it's probably one of the things that you're gonna want to watch watch out for like the one thing you got to watch out for is like your gapple health like all your gapples like if all your gapples are perfectly uh timed so that you know you don't get hit off or got caught off guard you know in a predicament and then all of a sudden you get like two hit and you die because everybody's piling on you so you gotta you have to make sure there's a lot of stuff that you have to keep in mind when you're pvping so let me go to my vault real quick i'm gonna use my fix all for today do i have any damaged armor anywhere here i don't believe so so I have so many chests of swords now. This this is a bunch of armor that I friggin' enchanted. Um, what's it called? For the fight. And I, I was expecting to use them all, but I ended up not using much at all. I used like one axe maybe. So it doesn't look like I have too much to enchant. Let me go home storage. I'm gonna check my faction members. Uh, actually, home ingot, I think. Alright, uh, I know Big Daddy Mark always has some stuff that he wants me to clean up for him, but I'm not a, I'm not really sure where he has it. I'm just going to take a quick peek, and if I can't find it, then I will. Uh, if I can't find it, then I'll just get out of here. Here's the stuff that he needs to repair. So I'll just give all this stuff to him. I don't really need too much armor as of right now, so slash fix all. Fix all that armor for him. Make sure they're good. See, I, I I like to give a helping hand out to my faction members. I love, you know, just giving them that, giving them that chance to freaking repair everything for them. As I do, I, I don't play, I don't PVP as much as Insanity of, and them do. So, there you go. Repair that stuff for him. Close your door. Home storage, and then we can be ending this episode pretty soon. I'm just gonna clean up the last parts of the prop four that I have to clean up here. Let's see. That's all swords. That's organized. That's organized. I can put these tools away. And then that's organized, that's organized. I can throw this away because I don't really need that stuff. Prop 4 unbreak and that's really good. I can throw that away. So I can put this back up here. I can grab these tools for sorting. And then let's get to it. So that's Prop 1 book. I don't really need Prop 1 books, but those could be combined potentially. 
to other stuff so let's just keep it in our inventory i uh, hope you guys enjoy this like light background music in the back i'm not sure if i'm actually deciding to put th that in but if you guys hear that light background music <laughs> hopefully you guys are enjoying that through this episode because this is just basically a full commentating episode i'm just really talking through how i'm organizing things i mean i can't you know just organizing in general is I, I do it probably like once a week and I never actually show you guys me organizing my chest and then sometimes you guys will just be in an episode and you'll be like whoa how did his chest get so organized like I, I actually spend the time to organize all my chests because I like I just like being able to find everything like in a blink of an eye just like this I'm just uh, I'm slowly scrolling through these things because I'm making sure that these enchantments are good before I put them in the chest I don't want any I don't want any crappy enchantments on any of my stuffs so I'm just going to throw those away because the shovels are full. So those are fixed. And yeah, that's, I think that's it for today's episode. I'm going to probably record a couple of raids this weekend. Uh, if you guys have any cords to sell, I've been having trouble finding good raids to raid. Like I, I tried to record a raid earlier today, like of a raid that of a coordinate set that somebody sent to me. And then when I got finally broke into the base, the base was actually already raided. And it was really a bummer because I spent a good like 45 minutes raiding a base. And then all of a sudden everything inside it was already gone. So uh, yeah, if you guys do have a raid for me, let me know. Uh, post in or PM Insanity while you see him online in the game. And then uh, let him know that you have a good raid to sell. Like it has to be like a god raid. Like give, give us a challenging raid. And we'll record it on camera because normally if it's a really easy raid, we won't record it just because having easy raids on camera isn't too entertaining. If it's like, oh, I'm just building one TNT cannon or blah, 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 you know, just stuff of that sort. So if you guys have any raids for us and if they're challenging, let us know and we'll be glad to to try to help you guys break into a base even. So, yeah, that's it for today's episode. As you guys can see, I'm fully organized now. This is just my dump chest. I'll probably organize this later i could do this now as i'm talking and doing my outro but yeah thank you guys for watching today's episode make sure you guys like comment and subscribe if you haven't already um if you guys need help with organizing chests or if you guys need some tips on organizing chests leave a comment in the comment below asking what you guys should label your chest etc like water defenses anything of that sort leave it in the comments below and if i if i see it and if i have time i'll check out the comments once in a while and uh reply to some of you guys and then, yeah, that's basically it. Um, if you haven't already, make sure you guys hit that like button. You guys have been doing pretty well with the likes, and I'm really appreciating all the support that you guys are giving me, especially with that new SMP series that I'm also doing. And, yeah, this is D Field. Thank you guys for watching today's episode, and we will see you guys later.